Hey, what's up? It's Boy Chapman here. And welcome back. It's right to the new, the new Tutorial Tuesday. I have a new jacket. I have a new jacket. I've missed a couple of spots, like, uh, yeah, right there over my shoulder. But that's okay. On this one, what we're gonna do is we are doing... Well, for the first few Tutorial Tuesdays, we are going to run over a few farms, make sure that they still work, and if they don't, try to optimize them. But for now, what we're doing, the Trident Farm. That's right, this is the one from the Hardcore series. It's super easy to build. Uh, the only thing it really requires is glass, but most of this can be done with builder blocks anyway. The only really thing that you need glass is the base. So bring 10 stacks of glass if you've got it, a bucket of water, some soul sand, two walls, five trap doors, a turtle egg, some ice, some packed ice if you can get it. This is not necessary, but yeah, hold on. We don't really need it. You're also going to want to bring along a few stacks of kelp, but we are in the river. So they're right there. And that is to build the kelp elevator in order to get these guys to the top. Now, the first thing that we want to make sure that we do, find yourself a river. You can see I'm in a river right here. Okay, we found ourselves a nice river. It is pretty deep too as well and as you can see when we get down here we are already when we're even halfway near the bottom we're at client light zero which is exactly what we want because you don't want to have to have like the 11 stacks that it's going to require you in order to put a roof on this thing what is going on so find yourself a nice chunk of a river that is nice and deep and what we're going to do is we're going to take our glass we're going to find a nice little back wall area like this and we're going to build ourselves a 15 by 15 platform and you want to make sure that nobody can get underneath it. So fill all of this in. But 15 by 15, starting center. One, two. And what this is going to do is this is going to stop any of, like, the squid and the glow squids from spawning. Oh, hi, boys. And isolate all of the spawns towards these guys right here. 15 by 15 glass platform. Okay, once you have your 15 by 15 platform done, like I said, this is going to isolate all of the spawns and hopefully stop anything else from spawning. What you want to do is, like I said, fill in any of these extra voids. You don't want these. And now what we're going to do is center on this 15 by 15 platform. What we're going to do is we're going to put down our turtle egg with two temporary blocks above it. And then we are going to fill in the area around it. We're going to make this too deep. And in front of these two temporary blocks, we're going to put a trap door with another trap door. And hopefully, no, the water didn't get removed. So what you want to do is you want to take your bucket and then try to remove these water sources. Like that. What you should have is a nice flow towards the little egg there. The egg itself will provide its own little air block, as you can see. Close down these trap doors and then remove the temporary blocks behind it. And what you should get is those glass pieces should fall straight down and that means you have a two block air gap above the turtle egg which is what you need in order for anything to be attracted to it so again air block with a two block air gap above the turtle egg and then these two trap doors you're gonna want these to be air blocks as well so that way yeah no water flows in there remember you need this water bucket though now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a wall wall above the wall we're gonna put down our two trap doors single pieces of glass just like that sorry we don't want one there because below us right here in between the walls we're going to put down our soul sand this is going to create a bubble elevator all the way to the top of the surface of the water right there and starting from right about you know here somewhere give yourself a nice little gap anyways and starting from right there what we're going to do is we're going to take the coordinates of this piece of soul sand which is 38 and we are going to build a chute starting from right there 120 blocks above that piece of soul sand so take the coordinates of this soul sand add 120 onto it and then build your kelp elevator all the way up to there okay i am up to 158 as you can see we already have some drown down there now what you're going to do is you're going to put your water block in here that's going to flow all the way to the bottom you're going to build yourself a nice small platform right here to stand on oh sorry i'm an idiot you want to make sure that you do this over top of the center of the farm too i don't know why i'm just doing it out to the right side look at them already getting attracted and just zoop okay and look at all of the drown down there already this is fantastic so you're going to want to make that probably all one flat level if you can do that that would be fantastic but now it is your choice before we go down there and put in some kelp it's up to you what you want to do do you want to build this chute right here high enough for them to be a one hit kill or do you not really care and just want them to fall down and you just slice them once they get here up to you but for me i'm just going to do a short little drop just like that i'm actually going to steal the water source from here 
and I'm gonna build a short little runway out to wherever I'm going to be standing here. We're gonna make sure that it is two blocks high in total. At the end of it, we're gonna put down our final trap door. We're gonna close it down. And then what we're gonna do is right here where the trap door is, we're gonna drop down right below the chute. We're gonna put down a chest with a hopper. We're gonna put a slab on top and then we're just gonna build our chute down so that it connects up with that slab. Okay, once you have your chute done, so there's our chute down to where our slab is. Down here at the bottom, all we're going to do is we're going to remove some blocks so that way we have access in order to chop these guys as they fall down here. Then we're just going to go back up into the little pathway we built. We're going to put down a temporary block here at the back. We're going to put a water source on top of it. We're going to remove that. The water is going to flow down all the way to the bottom. It's also going to flow here to the edge where these guys can sink down drop down and then you can slice their toes once they get down here so now you can just clean all of this up do whatever you want with it make it look as pretty as you would like to this is the collection chest so if you want to put an item sorter off of this you can absolutely do that but now our final step to make sure this farm works is we need to go down we need to we need to grab our kelp and we need to put it inside all the way up to the top here which means we're gonna have to go on a killing spree that's a lot of drowned Okay, now just grab some kelp. And then all you have to do here is place it down on the soul sand and run your way up to the top of the surface. You're gonna wanna be careful of drown too as well, so do it as fast as possible. Okay, once you're at the top here, all you have to do is just fly out or drop down, whichever way you're gonna do it. Quickly remove the kelp. And the farm is ready. Look at this little guy. Get out of here. None. Okay, now to isolate, the farm is officially ready. The farm is good and ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we need to take care of one thing. If you build this out of glass, you can see the glass actually kind of transfers the light all the way down. I'm not sure why it does that. All you have to do is basically just remove these and replace them with solid blocks. So just replace the glass ones at the surface with the solid block and you get no more light transfer all the way to the bottom. Now in order to isolate your spawns into this area, grab yourself some lanterns or some sea lanterns. You can easily get these from villagers when you're trading with them. And light up all of the areas that you don't want any... Like, I don't want any spawning down here because they won't be able to see it. Okay, we are nicely lit up. I'm just going to do a few more. You can see the drown there are already isolated inside the farm. You want to make sure that you try to find any caves that are within the spawning fear too. Okay, and basically with this, we should be pop set. We should have most of the spawns isolated inside there. You can see there he is right there. And now what you're going to do is you have any more solid blocks or any more builder blocks around the outside here what these guys like to do these stupid guys they like to bunch up around the outside so just fill this area in and bulk it up a little bit so that way they don't kind of sit around on the outside corners here and the same goes with any section under here where they might be able to try and get underneath it just fill this in because they're stupid and they will literally pile up underneath there and ruin your farm so bulk it up and make it look like that. Remember, this doesn't have to be out of glass. This can all be out of builder blocks. But you are officially done. It's as quick and dirty and as simple as that. Now all you have to do is basically go up to the top. If you have an auto clicker, turn your auto clicker on. And let's just go see. Broad daylight, can't see nothing. But let's just give it a minute. And here they come. That didn't take long at all. We're literally talking 30 seconds or less. Okay, I've maybe been here for like 15 minutes and I was talking and yakking and you know what? I'll probably just do that all on a time lapse. But as you can see, in just a short amount of time, we already got some copper, some Nautilus shells, some rotten flesh. There was a guy with a trident that came up and fell down here, but he didn't drop anything and that's... Do I even have looting three on this sword? But I don't even have looting three on this sword. But there it is. Trident farm is done and ready. You can see we've got more of them coming in here. Just on their way up. It's actually, it seems like it's more efficient now than what it was on one point. Like they are just coming in a flow. But that is basically it. What I'm going to do is I am going to <laughs> looting three. Fine. It's <laughs> looting three. We got it. Absolutely amazing. Okay, here comes the trident guy. Let's see if we get the trident from this guy. Bring it. Bring it. Oh. <gasps> There it is! Within less than 20 minutes, we've got ourselves a trident, six pieces of copper, some Nautilus shells, 
Um, I'm sure you can get copper faster just by going mining now. But trident. We have a trident. That is why it's important to have looting three on your sword. But that's it. I'm gonna pretty much I'm gonna sit here. I'll do this ring for an hour. Thank you so much for watching. Tutorial Tuesday is back. I appreciate you guys all so much. I'll uh yeah, we'll do an update video on why we're doing it on a separate channel too as well. But there's your trident farm. Thank you so much for watching. I love all you guys so much. I'll see you on the hardcore series. Yeah, double ocean monument. See you guys soon. Love you. Peace.